Fill your life with experiences, not things. Have stories to tell, not stuff to show. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will talk about the places where you will have opportunity to fill your life with experiences so that you have stories to tell. Doroli, including its surrounding areas, is full of parks, greenways and museums. But in this video, I will be talking about 10 parks. As today I am focusing on outdoor activities. I will be talking about things you can do there, its location and show you the pics so that you get an idea of the place. First place I will talk about is Pullen Park. It is the first public park in North Carolina, the 5th oldest operating amusement park in the US and 16th oldest in the world. It is very well maintained. You are definitely going to be mesmerized by its beauty and the variety of things it has to offer. There is a carousel, train, pedal boat and kiddie boat. It also has a community center which can be rented. Aquatic center with Olympic pool, six tennis courts, two athletic fields, art center which hosts a lot of programs, theater in the park, cafe offering fresh local and seasonal foods and last not the least playground for kids. I have put all of these together for you to see. Poolen Park serves as a nice day outing. On your screen is the address of Poolen Park. Next I will be talking about William B. Umstead State Park. In 1966, the Crabtree Creek and the Reddy Creek areas were united and named William B. Umstead State Park. We went for a hike and we just loved the green cover over there. The hikers trail runners, bicyclists and the equestrians cherish the extensive network of hiking and multi-use trails at the park. The park offers a variety of activities like hiking, cycling, boating, paddling, fishing, puddle trail. Also you can plan for a picnic over there. Here I have listed the activities and the list of the trails for you to consider from. Address is right in front of you on the screen. Third place I will talk about is Eno River State Park. As the name suggests, this park is based along the Eno River. The park offers nearly 30 miles of trails along a swift, shallow stream that's popular with anglers, photographers and sightseers. The park is famous for its flying fish and is often a popular destination for fishing. Apart from fishing, people go for hiking, paddling and picnicking. I have also seen people tubing over there. The best part of the park is that you can go to the cool and refreshing water at several places. This hanging bridge is also a fun. Here is the list of things to do in the park and list of trails for you to plan your visit. On the screen is the address. Fourth place, Jordan Lake State Recreation Area. This is a collection of nine access areas scattered around the shoreline of this 14,000 acre reservoir. It is the local beach of Raleigh, away from the oceans. This place is very popular for camping. Apart from camping, you can go for boating, fishing, hiking, swimming, and picnicking. There is a children's playground too. Here is a list of activities and the list of trails to help you plan your visit. The address is right in front of you. Fifth place is Hemlock Bluff Nature Preserve. Hemlock Bluff's nature preserve is home to a unique community of eastern hemlock trees and other mountain plant species. Access to approximately 3 miles of mulched nature trail, scenic overlooks, excellent bird and wildlife watching opportunities, and areas for quiet nature reflection. The Stevens Nature Center provides interactive educational nature exhibits and historical exhibits from the Piedmont of North Carolina. The Nature Center also provides nature interpretation and environmental education programs for all ages throughout the year. We went there last winter 
and really loved it. Here is the address. Sixth place, Blue Jay Point County Park. Blue Jay Point is a peninsula bordered on three sides by Raleigh's primary drinking water supply, Falls Lake. There are several amenities and activities which park has to offer, like hiking and walking trail, garden and study point, overnight lodge, picnic area, playground, open play fields, fishing areas, geocaching, and Blue Jay Center for Environmental Education. Here's the list of park facilities and activities. And this is the address. Seventh place, Fred D. Bond Metro Park, popularly known as Bond Park. Bond Park is one of the largest municipal parks in the Wake County. Like an oasis in the middle of the town, the park design preserves the environment and offers opportunities for many types of recreation. Park hosts various annual events like Winter Wonderland, Tide Festival, Easter Egg Hunt and many others. In the park, you can walk on the trails, play ball on the athletics field, see a performance in the amphitheater, play on the lace days playground, rent a kayak, pedal boat at boathouse, go fishing, rent a shelter for parties, or do orienteering. Here is a list of activities you can do at the park. And this is the address. 8th place, News River Trail. The News River Greenway Trail is 27.5 miles of paved trail with diverse features. The trail offers scenic views of the News River, winding boardwalk areas through wetlands, historical sites, interpretive signs, and agricultural fields. News River Greenway Trail is also a part of Capital Area Greenway and East Coast Greenway. You can go hiking, canoeing, kayaking, fishing, cycling. And all those bridges on the trails form a perfect backdrop for photography. Here is the list of activities you can do there. And this is the address. 9th place, Lake Crabtree County Park. It is located adjacent to a 520-acre flood control lake. Visitors can enjoy a variety of outdoor activities. The park hosts more than 16 miles of trails for its main activity. The park offers hiking trails, playgrounds, open play fields, picnic shelters, fishing, sailing, boating, mountain bike trails, volleyball court and educational garden. It's my family's favorite spot at Sunset Point. This is the list of things to do. And this is the address. 10th place, White Oak Trail. The White Oak Greenway originates in Bond Park. It is used for walking, running, bicycling, walking leash dogs, pushing strollers, and wheelchair. It is my family's to-go place. The swamp attracts variety of birds and is a habitat for turtles, snakes, and other animals. This is the address. I hope you must have liked this video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share with your friends and family. Please subscribe and hit the bell button so that you get the notification of my latest uploads. Thanks for watching.